Some people dream success while you're gonna wake up and work hard at it. I started out uh, in a little kid in Pocatello, Idaho. I weighed less than 100 pounds, and you could count my ribs right through my pecs. And I, I hated it. I just absolutely hated it. I wanted to. I wanted the women to love me, and when I walked around for them to go, oh, where he is, there he is. They didn't even know I, they didn't know I existed. There was no one like Larry Scott. When he came on, the whole place just came alive. He was spectacular. He was like the all-American boy. Brought a lot of, uh, how would you say it, joy with his smile and his personality and with his charisma and also with his friendship and, uh, and the way he was one of the first of the great posers. He had a fabulous development that very few people had. He came on stage very slowly to the podium and there was so much applause that was taking place even before he began to pose. And when he did, the applause was hundreds. You know, I thought that the whole balcony was going to come down on me. He was just, he just took everything by storm and was the greatest applause I've ever heard in any concert. One of the best of all time in during his time. Back on top. That's it? Good. Oh, that's great, Memphis. Great. Good.